All right, so we are going to do Play Shelf Trade, our favorite segment. And again, if you're watching us from the first time from Meeple-a-thon, uh, I appreciate you participating in our Play Shelf Trade. And because we're recording the day after and it was a long night, I don't have the tabulations of where the Meeple's picks were. But next show, watch that one. And we're going to tell you what you guys picked for our Meeple-a-thon Play Shelf Trade, which was Concordia, Wingspan, and Lost Runes of Arnak. So I'm really hoping Lost Runes won because that's my favorite. Um, but I don't know. Day two, there was a lot of trading Lost Runes, so I'm a little, I'm a little scared. So that's true. <laughs> you don't like any of those games, Chris. So I don't know why you're winking at me here. <laughs> I'm interested to give uh, Concordia another try. And, and honestly, I'm gonna be honest. Like Arnex, a fine game. You just really soured it to me when you told me it was a deck builder, and it's not at all. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ah, see, Sarah disagrees. She, she disagrees with you. Yeah, Isn't I mean, it, it's, it's, it's both a worker placement and deck building game. Okay, yes, okay, it is. okay. So, okay, let's actually just talk about this. Why not? This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> deck builder for me is Dominion, like drawing cards, building a deck, and actually going through those cards over and over and over and over. Arnak is like, I'm going to take this card and put it in my deck, and I might play it one or two more times, maybe. Like, <laughs> That like uh, John says, that's a hand builder, and I'm like, yeah, that's right, that's a hand builder, not a deck builder. So, but then <laughs> Daniel, if you if, if you watch our show, you'll realize there's an ongoing joke that Daniel calls every game a rondelle somehow, uh, which is <laughs> yes. ridiculous. So, uh, it's, Concordia it's, and Gloomhaven can be an argument, could be an argument <laughs> no, that they're rondelle. No, so, so that that the deck builder is also shtick for the same way that rondelle is every game somehow. So, it's, all yeah. right, well, that's enough of that play shelf and trade. <laughs> that is. Let's talk about this play shelf and trade. So, in this segment where we take three games, each choose out of these games, which one we would like to play right now, uh, which one we're going to shelf for later, or not shelf for later, but more like keep on our shelf forever. And then which one are we going to trade away for something better or burn it with fire? So today the three games are Ark Nova, which is a pretty massive tableau building game where you're you're um, you're taking actions and you're building your zoo and you're just trying to get as much victory points as as um, as possible. I guess it's not really tableau building, but I digress. Everdale, <laughs> which I think is tableau building, um, which is just all I know about it really is there's a giant tree and you play cards. I don't know. And then uh, New York Zoo, which is a polyomino game where you're moving around the little zoo board picking up different shapes you're planting them into your zoo and you're placing the animals on there how about if you play uh sarah's one minute video of uh, new york zoo right now let's talk about new york zoo this is a polyamino tiling game for one to five players you're trying to fill up your zoo first with enclosures and attraction tiles in order to win this game so on your turn you can move an elephant up to three spaces around this rondelle you can land on one of these blue spaces and take the animals there and place them into your enclosures or into your barns if you have space there or you can land on one of these spaces which will have stacks of tiles in them and you can take the top tile and place it into your zoo. When you place an enclosure tile into your zoo, you must then place one or two animals there from your barn or from an existing enclosure. If you take an animal from an existing enclosure, there must be at least one animal left behind, and you can only have one species of a kind in an enclosure. If an enclosure fills up with animals, then you can remove those animals, placing one into your barn, and then you can take an attraction tile, which will help to fill up your board quicker. If someone passes over a breeding ground on their turn with the elephant, which is these brown spaces, and you have two or more animals in an enclosure, you can take another animal placing it into that enclosure to try to fill it up as quickly as possible. The first player to fill up this board will win. It is a pretty cool game and if you like polyamino games and animal meeples you should check this one out. All right well there you go and that gives you a taste of what Sarah does on her channel. So very very concise Chris with a lot of information. You should start mm -hmm. taking notes. Yeah. <laughs> All right well let me go with my play shelf trade here. And my play will be a surprise to nobody. Um, actually, sorry, my shelf, because the shelf is the one I want to keep forever. And that is ever, or sorry, it's God. Ark Noah. It's Ark Noah. <laughs> Ark Noah? <laughs> I'm restarting this. Okay. No, keep no, going. keep it. No. Okay. So Ark, Ark Nova, it's one of my all-time favorite games. I love to play it. I actually just picked up the Marine expansion so super excited to play that one uh new york zoo is actually going to be my play while it didn't resonate me very like with me like a lot i would still play it again i'm really excited for it not excited for it but yeah i, I would play it again it's fine everdale though that is going to be my trade because everdale broke me guys which chris might say it fixed me but it broke me i was on a kickstarting pledge you know, binge and I'm doing all this stuff and I'm getting every game I possibly can. And then Everdale came along 
And for whatever reason, I sat there and stared at it and I go, this is just the same game that I've been playing over and over again, but there's a giant tree in it. So Everdale's giant tree has become synonymous with me for jumping the shark. It's like, so if you ever say a game's gone too far, you can just say they put a giant tree in it. And I'm like, I get it. I get it. And you know, Everdell might be a great game and it might be one I enjoy. But every time I see that giant tree, I'm just like, it's just like everything else, but with a giant tree. And I, I just can't get around that. One day I'll play it. But, you know, for this segment, it's my trade. <laughs> uh, th- this from the man that literally would buy any game that says Marvel on it. And, Correct. You know, but that's not the same thing over and over. But whatever. Okay. No, they're all vastly <laughs> different. They're all vastly different, and most of them are bad. <laughs> except there's things like Marvel Dice Throne. It's like it's more Dice Throne, except it's Marvel. It's literally the exact same thing, just that's Marvel. Right. But that's, that's right. different somehow. That's right. Well, you need different pairs of socks to wear. Same thing. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fair. Uh, all right. So going to me. Um, this one was actually kind of tough because it's been a while since I played Ark Nova. And uh, but Ark Nova isn't making my list, but Ark Nova is. For those of you don't know, we did a parody called Ark Nova. Okay. We're going to have to play that this time. Maybe that'll be yeah. our commercial. There there you go. Go. Uh, exactly. But I think Ark Nova is going to have to be my play. It's been too long. I've enjoyed every play I've had of it. I don't think it's a perfect game. And I think I even think I said, I don't think you can see it, but I think Earth t- to me does that same process better of getting the cards and building the tableau and building whatever. Not really tableau building, like you said, but it's a good combination between that and and uh, terraforming Mars. To me, I would rather play it, but that's not one of the choices. We're gonna take <laughs> Ark Nova. That's gonna be the one I play. Um, I think I'm, the one I haven't played is Everdell, and everybody tells me I will love Everdell. We have a friend Kelly who's like, I can't believe you haven't played Everdell. This is like your game. You would love it. And so I think I need to play that, but it's not my play. It's gonna be my shelf though, because there's so many people that love it. I know I would get it played, so it may as well be on my shelf. I can always pull it out and set up that tree and daniel will go crazy and he'll say like i gotta play this game and as a tree so Not that one i'll do <laughs> the one i've played the most is new york zoo and my wife loves it we'll break it out of her once in a while but i think i think what i don't like about it is it's a, just a race to fill the board i don't think i wish there was something else to it besides just the race to fill the board kind of a thing kind of like i got world wonders here recently and that fits my jam for a polyomino game where you can just go crazy about cramming stuff in as tight as you want to and surrounding it, or you can go crazy about building the world wonders, or you can do great, you know, going up on the tracks, whatever you can, you can take different methods to try to get your point. So I know I mentioned a lot of games that aren't in the list, but <laughs> <laughs> New York zoo is going to be my trade. So that's what I got. I'm a little surprised zoo is your trade, uh, John, because I thought you liked bad games. No, there. Uh... I like bad company, but I don't like bad games. <laughs> Uh, that's a bad game but <laughs> all right so uh so uh, the people who watch the show you kind of know how i am but i'm gonna let sarah know so i am a person that all i care about is the game i care about wh- how it plays that's what matters you can't play art you can't play components none of that stuff matters to me largely so you like new york zoo <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we'll get there so yeah, these are things that don't really matter i mean they're just purely a cherry on top like if it's got nice components and it's really pretty cool but again you can't play components you can't play art those are completely secondary the mechanics the moment to moment play is what matters <laughs> excuse me so here we go with my play shelf trade so my shelf is going to be everdale because it is like daniel said it's like kind of every other game out there it's nothing really special it doesn't really reinvent the wheel but because of it it's nice and um uh, safe it's inviting like it's a medium weight game that you can probably get to the table with almost anyone uh the art is fairly cutesy and stuff like that so that if for people it matters to two that's nice uh the uh, the tree is overproduced but it's fine it's there um the berries and stuff like that man those feel good in my hands the only other component that feel better in my hands is the azul tiles so uh i do appreciate the components uh from everdale and the game itself is great the major flaw is i don't understand them they need to talk to wizard of the coast and figure out what font size to use on their cards like there's some some car some of the cards have such a small font that you have to read that's actually important it's not flavor text and it's insane so that that's the one minor downside is that the the text is kind of small but again it's a good safe game so having it on my shelf forever is that's where i'm going to put it as ever know i'm going to put new york zoo is my play 
The reason is, is because I've only played it once. Or not New York Zora, I'm sorry. I, I, looked, I said the wrong name. Ark Nova. Ark okay. Nova is my play, yeah. I was about to walk over there, Chris, and hit yeah, you. I, I understand. I appreciate it. I'm glad you said something. Because, yeah, I've been a real problem. So Ark Nova is my play. I've played it one time. Again, it was the, hey, it, this is Terraforming Mars about a zoo, right? And I love Terraform Mars. That game is so clean, almost so perfect. The art and stuff, all that stuff is a problem. I understand clip art and, and not matching. But again, these aren't the things I care about, really. So all those things I can push past. Um, but So I love Terraform Mars. And so Ark Nova is supposed to be Terraform Mars, but on the zoo. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. The way the cards come to you, though, I just really don't like. that. The, the actual draft of the cards of Terraform Mars is one of the things I love the most. I hate the little cards in the row. You could just be really lucky or really unlucky. But, again, Daniel keeps shaking his head about me anytime I talk about this. So I need to play it again. It sounds like I'm going to get a chance based on John and Daniel. So I'll give this game another chance. But I don't think it's going to get there. I still am going to want to play Terraform Mars anytime I would play Ark Nova. And then my trade is New York Zoo. And the reason is... Because, again, like John said, it's just kind of like filling your board. It's not all that interesting. And this is the game that broke me with the community and people caring about art. I don't understand how this game got to print. It looks like it was left in the sun for three months. It's so washed out. The colors are so just blah. I don't understand how this is not a big deal in the community. The community can't get over art and components, but they just completely brush it aside for this game. I don't know if it's because it's Yui or something that people are like, oh, well, I can't say anything bad about the great Yui Orzenberg. But uh, yeah, this game, not interesting, not fun, nothing new. And it looks like it was left in the sun for three months. And uh, it's such a trade for me. I, yeah, I, I just don't get this game. <laughs> wow. Yeah, oh. That's right. That's right, I'm game snob. Uh, Chris, one the only thing I want to make a comment about is there's no such thing as overproduced. Okay, there is. I don't what, there is. I don't know what kind of yeah, a child. Yeah, there's my girl. She I said foundations of Rome way overproduced. No, I mean, yeah. uh, there's no? there's nothing wrong with treating yourself when you play a game. There's that for every everything that you think is overproduced, somebody else is going. I like having toys with my games, and I'm not afraid to say it. So, right. you but you know what I want? I want two games, and not just one. And I only have so much money. So just make it like it needs to be done so I can have more. <laughs> Chris Anyways, wants to print Sarah, and play every game that he straight. owns. <laughs> set these people straight, Sarah. Oh my God. You guys are all just going to hate me. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so the game that I would play right now, I would actually play Everdell just because recently I had the chance of covering a game called Wondrous Creatures for its Kickstarter. And it reminded me a lot of Everdell, but I actually think it was better than Everdell. Ooh. So I feel like I'd like to play Everdell again, just because it has the same kind of uh, mechanics as wondrous creatures but i just think wondrous creatures did it better but everdell like i really love the components the artwork i just think it's all super cute um and i love cute animals so i would play everdell right now because i i really love worker placement um you know i know that we're not talking about wondrous creatures but i do think wondrous creatures did it better <laughs> but okay. since it's not on the list i'm gonna play everdell right now um i'm gonna shelf new york zoo um so i'm gonna shelf new york zoo just because i do enjoy polyamino games but i will agree that yeah you're just basically trying to like fill up the board and stuff but i love the animal meeples in the game like i can't get rid of a game that has those amazing <laughs> animal meeples in it um definitely trading arc nova i hate arc nova i'm sorry oh. Yeah, I played it once at a four player count and it was one of the most miserable experiences of my life. I just was dying for it to end and it just was so long. And, you know, I understand that, you know, you guys really love it. And but, you know, there just wasn't anything redeeming about it for me. Like the artwork couldn't even like the artwork was bad. So even that, like, you know, was not helping me out. The gameplay was just too long. I didn't like the scoring mechanism with the different tracks around the board, you know, trying to get the cards I needed. It was just, it was just awful. It was just, it was just really just such a horrible experience for me. It was like the worst four or five hours of my life. It was so long. It was just such a long game night and I just wanted it to end so badly. So I would trade Ark Nova in a heartbeat yeah <laughs> I'm gonna, wow. sarah i'm gonna jump in here right now and tell you i'm sorry because apparently what i did is i stole your 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 soul your essence and put it in my body for the time that i played new york zoo Every <laughs> you mean arc nova about playing that game you so mean i apologize that i ruined those moments of your life yeah. 
<laughs> um, one, uh, yeah. But uh, one thing you said about Ark Nova, though, that I agree with is, especially for a game that long, I hate the scoring tracks on the outside because then it's a then it's a race and it's it's a race that's a marathon because it's like three and a half hours long. And what I was saying to these guys is that's fine if you're in first or close second place. But if you're in fourth place, why are you even finishing the game? You know, why don't you just bail out and let the other guys finish? Because there's no hidden scoring. There's none of that stuff. You might get a few points at the end, but it's not going to catch you up. So I don't know. I like, I'd rather have a game where you might have cards there. Oh, well, I'm going to get points on this that he's not going to get points on. Or I'm going to get none of that makes enough of a difference. Basically, whoever crosses first ends up winning every game that I've seen. So, I, well, yeah. Yeah. I totally would have bailed on it. And I'm not one who usually bails on games in the middle, but the, one of the other players was my ride. So I was basically <laughs> hostage. Yeah, so. yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I love it. You know, I, I, I will say what you just said, Sarah, I actually really, uh, about Arc Nova is actually what's great about this hobby. Like literally everything you said you hate about that game is literally what I like about that game, <laughs> which is just crazy about how the, the games, these games, like you could acknowledge like this one was well made or this one has merit, but you can go, it just wasn't for me, you know? And I, and I just love that you can be so extreme, you know, you got one of the best games by one person standard and the worst game ever by another. It's like, it's just kind of a cool, you know, thing that our hobby does. <laughs> so, so Daniel just admitted, just said he likes bad art because that's what she says in Ark Nova. Okay, that's interesting. Hey, despite what you guys that's say, fine. I'm actually not all about the art. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I see art that's beautiful, I'm going to like, it's going to, you know, hold me back. But I, I like ugly games too. I'm sure I would like Hansa Teutonica. <laughs> I don't like ugly games. I sorry. Like Thank there's just you. so many games in this world. Like if a game is ugly, I'm like, why would I buy even if it's a really good game when I can get a really good game that also has amazing artwork? Like there's just so many games. Like I'm not gonna buy an ugly game. Very good. Good. Sarah, you need to come <laughs> on more because it like yes. you just like power bombed <laughs> me and Chris and uh <laughs> from different perspectives it. so <laughs> well guys that was our play shelf trade uh let us know in the segment what your play shelf trade is uh let us know if you would uh trade or play uh ark noah because apparently that was on the list yes. and wondrous creatures actually i do want to play wondrous creatures because if it is ark noah and it doesn't have a giant tree then it has to be better right so. you mean ever know but yeah no for real. Like, yeah. I know, yeah like I, I know you weren't like plugging in on a, a purpose but everything you said by the way i meant to double back on that like it has me excited to play it like because again for all the reasons no. i like everdell this is everdell plus from what you're saying yeah That's no I, I definitely is everdell plus like the worker yeah. worker placement spots are so much more interesting and better it's a little bit easier to get resources but still it's not like an easy game sure. and i feel like you have way better tableaus that you can build in one creatures than an Everdell. Highly recommend it. It was just fantastic. I'll check it out. Cool. All right. Well, let us know, guys. Thank you for watching this clip from Around the Board. If you'd like to watch the full episode, please click on the link down below. Around the Board is essentially a game show featuring four board game enthusiasts that discuss board game topics and news in a competitive format. Whoever wins gets to talk about whatever he wants at the end of the show. So please join us, won't you, Around the Board.